These pipe cleaner turtles are a personal favorite of mine. They're easy to make, so let me show you how. For this project, you will need one green extra fluffy pipe cleaner, a brown pipe cleaner, fingernail clippers, googly eyes, and thick white craft glue. To make the turtle shell, take the green pipe cleaner and start coiling it tightly from one end. You want the coils to be close together and even slightly underneath the coil above it. So you're making a slight cone shape. Keep coiling around, spending small parts at a time. If you don't have an extra fuzzy green pipe cleaner, you can also twist two regular pipe cleaners together um, to get almost the same effect. When you get to the end, tuck the end into the outer coil and just twist it to keep everything in place. Take the brown pipe cleaner and cut it in half with the fingernail clippers. With one half, start coiling the end. Nice, flat, tight coil to make the head of the turtle. You're going to do this to about halfway up the pipe cleaner and then bend it so it faces forward. Tuck the end of the pipe cleaner in the first coil of the shell and then out the back over that first coil. Push it in so that the head is against the shell and then you're going to bend at the end a little more than half over the last coil and pinch it in place. This will hold the head and the tail to the shell. Cut the other half of the brown pipe cleaner in half again. And these are going to be the front and the back legs. Thread one piece of pipe cleaner underneath that middle pipe cleaner and make them even and push them forward just a little bit. Do the same thing for the back legs. Now twist each end down until it comes up to the shell. You'll be making the front and the back feet by doing this. The last step is to glue on some googly eyes. Use a thick white craft glue. Set the eyes far apart on the head. And once the glue is dry, you're finished. Please subscribe to my channel so I can keep bringing you more fun craft videos. There's new videos every week, so you don't want to miss one.